So next, we've got a small update to the upscaler. So this would be upscaler version 18. And the only difference, because it's the same, there's no difference to the upscaling workflow. The big difference is in the image selection. So what I've got is I've got true or false. True, which is the default, it just uses image mode like normal. It loads an image, in you go. However, when you say false, we're now on something called directory seed mode. Now, what that means is you put the directory for your images. So all of your upscale, all the images you want to upscale, they're going to be in a folder. Um, so if I go into my comfy UI folder right now, so here's my folder. If I go into folder and then I've got a test, uh, that's the name of my project was test. So if I come in here, this is lots of, we've got Laura text base. So I, I believe if I just come into Laura here, this is where all the images that we just made are. So yeah, yeah, there's one, right? So obviously if I drag that one in, it's going to upscale that, right? But if I take the path for the folder, copy that, and then put that into here. Okay. Now you'll notice this has 79 items, it says in the bottom left corner. All right. There's 79 images in here. So what that means is I can set the seed to zero. I can go to my prompt queue, right? Go extra options. And then I know there's 79 of them. So I'm going to put 79 in. Okay. So 79 batch, right? And every, it's going to, this is to prevent people running out of memory when they have thousands of images to upscale. You can leave this overnight. You can leave it all day. It won't crash out because it's only going to do one image at a time. So the seed is corresponding to the files, right? So the seed zero is that one. Yeah. So every time it makes an image, uh, it'll, it's going to go increment. It's going to go one. So now it's going to load the next image then the next image then the next image. Right. And so we can control the, uh, how many of the images we want to do with that. Um, also say you had like a hundred crap images first and you were lazy. Well, we can skip the first hundred like that. Right. Loads of stuff we can do. Right. So I'll put it on one again. So this is like a sort of bean counter. I call it directory seed. It used to be a, a animation trick, which we don't need anymore. Um, but it works really well for fire and forget mass upscaling and obviously if you've spent a bit of time working with the single image mode and you've got yourself a nice denoise and shift right because obviously right now we've got the denoise default to 0.2 and the shift is set to 0.5 which is quite low but i didn't want to overpower it for everybody out the gate so you find yourself a nice shift by working with one of these and then you go false Put the, you put the directory in, as I've showed you, make sure it's on zero because you will have to reset that when you change your directory. And now I'm going to clear this off. Obviously I'm not going to do it all, but if I hit Q now, it's going to go ahead and it's going to add all those jobs. And then it's just going to start, it's just going to start upscaling for me. Now, obviously if I had left stage two on, that's a bit risky because it does push my graphics card to its red line. Um, but that is a thing you can do. You could also, for example, uh, turn on the color correction and just drag the output from the color match into the color correction node like that. And then this same process is going to also color correct all of your images at the end to your chosen uh, lookup table. All right. So that's pretty much everything I've got to show you with this one. You already know how to use it. I've probably put way too much information in. So I've got one more thing. This is the bonus round. So also a part of the new Foda update, uh, latest new workflow for the pack. This one is going to be uh, uh, 
This is going to be your Flux webcam, okay? So you have got the option of putting an image in here, but that's like a relic, really. I'll just delete that. That's just a relic. If you see that, you don't need it. Um, it's all about the webcam, right? So uh, currently I've got it set up to 512 by 512. Your cam might have a higher resolution. Um, also, I've got it set to fill crop because we are using the uh, aspect size so that I can get it pushed up to 16 to 9. Um, do, 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 do. What else have we got? I've got a photographic style on. I've said video chat with a robot. That's all I'm going to say. I've also put my uh, image to image denoises at 0 0.05, which is extremely low. But then I've put the boost up to five. Whenever I say boost, what I mean is a value where both are the same. Max and base matches. One, two, three, four, five. Those are like your boost levels as far as I'm concerned. All right, cool. So let's go into extra options. Hit auto queue instant. And, and I can't see it anymore. Full screen, please. We'll go right up like that. And let's let's start the thing. Okay, so what we've got right now is we've got the webcam running and it's running in text to image mode. So that means it's not using the webcam. So let's turn it on. Okay, so we've got the webcam on and we've got the boost super high. So what I want to do is pull the boost down here. So here it is. Whoops, I nearly dropped the camera. Right. So if I go like this and start reducing the boost, let's go for four. It should make it more humanish. Um, until we get control net, we don't really have much control over stuff like this. But yeah, look, see, it's get becoming more humanish occasion on occasion. All right, let's go with a three then. Base three, max four. Base three, max three. Oh, look, see, it's starting to become a bit more blended. So this is the sort of thing I found. So again, um, I want to show the AI effect. And again, we're only getting like one FPS. Um, it seems to change dark areas more than anything else. Uh, but I love this sort of uh, chaotic latent spelunky we got going on where it's just completely chaotic. Now, do I actually have it on random seed? Let me just check real quick. Random seed. Uh, don't see my seed control. Ah, there it is. Right. So let's just change it to fixed just to show you because, you know, I'm like, oh, well, you're on random. Yeah. So let's change it to fixed seed. And now. It's still chaotic. Do you know what I mean? But I, I guess it is a little bit more stable. Um, if I wanted stability, all I'd have to do is turn the boost down. Because we're at 1D noise. So the most coherent is going to be zero shift. But like I said, I love how it follows the prompt when you push this up. Oh, whoops. I'm looking at my chin. <laughs> Just uh, it does actually work, guys. <laughs> this is actually really quite fun. Um, I'm sure that people are going to end up using this, but right now it's what the, <laughs> what the, <laughs> right now it's super chaotic. Like I say, uh, let's just try reducing the D noise on the actual text to image. I've not messed with that yet. Ooh. That does actually work. It's just, it's trying to make a robot. <laughs> anyway, 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 have loads of fun with this. Oh my goodness me. Okay, so that's the webcam. All right. It's a pretty funny little thing. At the moment, it's just a bit of a gimmick. All right. It's not like a serious implementation. This is just a. I wonder what would happen if we plugged a webcam into Flux. And obviously, you can have fun with your webcam at home and mess around with the image, the text to image denoise and the uh, sampling Flux. And I think I think we've already covered that extensively. Now. Oh, my gosh. All right. I'm going to stop this before it makes something which will get me banned. <laughs> it's actually pretty safe. I'm not going to lie. Let's put this 
put this camera down. It's actually pretty safe. I've been really impressed with it. I wanted to include this one because we made one with colors. We made one with SDXL, um, but they didn't come out because they weren't, you know, they weren't really very good. Um, this is just funny. So I'm releasing it as a bonus. So that's pretty much everything I had to show you. You'll find it under version eight. All of the packs contain all the previous packs. But version 10, there's going to be a big refactor and all of them will be updated to include everything that we've learned along the way. But until then, version eight will be the most up to date. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. So memberships are here. I've added donator and member. The donator membership is just a, you want to support the channel, help us grow. Member, you're going to get some exclusive video access. And uh, check out the join now button for more information.